Jane, what do you think of internal communication within Barnett Bank? I wish there was more communication between the South County and the North County. I feel there's room for improvement. I feel like we need better communication. Well, I think for uh, better customer service, it's important to have unified information throughout the entire Barnett system. So, Well, I think there's a lack some time of, of communication when there's a new product or something out there because I've had a situation where a customer brought something into me that they've got in the statement or they've heard about it on the radio before I did and I felt really embarrassed and kind of stupid that I... Welcome to Pro Banker News Center 60. This is the March 1989 report. I'm Karen Duckett. And I'm Ann Cantwell. Today we're reporting from our newest office location, Pinewood Square. We'll have the opportunity to show you around the office and introduce you to our office manager, Susan Hoffer, and her staff. It's spring and time for the March of Dimes Walk America. We'll be talking to Karen Berryman, this year's coordinator. We've got great highlights from the Teller Appreciation Night, including an interview with our outstanding Teller Award recipient. Lynette Lewandowski, our roving reporter, had an opportunity to meet up with her in between spending her money and planning her cruise. Now I'm pleased to introduce you to the manager of the Pinewood Square office, Susan Hoffer. Susan has been with Barnett since 1985 and is a graduate of the Palm Beach County MA program. Hi Susan, welcome. Hi Karen. How has customer response been so far? They've been great so far. Everyone's been real nice and they've been just as excited as we've been about the branch opening. Oh, wonderful. I understand you had an interesting first customer. Yes, Mr. Graff. He was here at uh, 10 of 9 on our first day and even brought a camera with him and took pictures of all the employees here and he left his camera with us for a week so we could use the camera. Oh, great. Uh, you have a great team here. What goals are you hoping to achieve? Um, our first goal, of course, is to provide the best service that we can here. And by doing that, we feel we can achieve our, our yearly goal, which is to reach about four and a half million dollars in deposits mm -hmm. and a little over 600,000 in loans. Ooh, great. Um, what do you perceive as your greatest challenge? Probably the number of competitors that we have. We have three other banks in this plaza alone and another commercial competitor across the street. And basically we all provide the same services, so our greatest challenge is to provide the best service that we can so we can attract the new dollars that come into the area. Sounds like you have your work cut out for you. Yes, we do. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us and good luck. Sure. Each year, Barnett sponsors the March of Dimes Walk America. I had the opportunity to speak with Karen Berryman, this year's coordinator, earlier this week. Thank you for joining us today, Karen. We were talking earlier about March of Dimes and what your mission is for the 80s and beyond. Can you tell me about that again? Certainly. In the 50s and 60s, March of Dimes was instrumental in the fight against polio and again in developing a vaccine for measles. In the 80s, we're looking more towards birth defects and specifically low birth weight. In this country where we feel we're technically superior, we're finding that we're ranked 19th in the world. A child born in Australia, Japan, or uh, Hong Kong has a greater life expectancy than those born in the United States. That's surprising. Yes, it is. What is Barnett doing to help the cause? Specifically, we've always had good walks where we've ranked very high in the county. We were the eighth highest money raiser in the country. Barnett Bank Incorporated was also eighth and this is above Citicorp and many big corporations so we are very committed to March of Dimes. That's great. What are we hoping to do in 1989? With the 89 walk we are looking more for the contribution end. We've always been able to put out walkers and it's a lot of fun to get out there and walk. But we need the money. That's what it's all about. So this year we're focusing on a larger contribution per walker than in the years past. Great. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. A very worthwhile cause. And remember, pledges will be accepted up through the end of April. With me now is Miriam Martis, Assistant Vice President and Operations Officer of the Pinewood Square Office. Miriam has been with Barnett Bank for 12 years and is no stranger to the opening of new branches. Hi, Miriam. Welcome. Hi. How does this opening compare with the others you've been involved in? Um, the other one I was involved with was Boca Del Mar. Basically it went the same. The only difference is that with this one I actually got to stay 
with Boca Del Mar, I ended up transferring about two weeks before it actually opened. So with Pinewood, I actually get to see the results of all the hard work that went into it. A little more rewarding this Definitely. time. <laughs> Susan spoke with us earlier regarding the goals of the office. How do you feel the goals affect you? Okay. As the deposits come in, I need to ensure, along with the rest of the staff, that we maintain those deposits by offering our customers the service that they deserve and they expect from us. And who do you have assisting you in reaching these goals? Um, Elvira Osgood and Nancy Carr, new account representatives. Lisa Simpson, our head teller. So as far as our tellers, we have um, Angie Vasquez, who's a regional floater, Alicia Evans, and Martha Gonzalez. Great team. Definitely. Good luck and thanks for talking with us. Thank you. On February 23rd, the third annual Teller Appreciation Night was held at the Palm Beach Airport Hilton. Over 275 tellers, operations officers, office managers, and special guests attended this fun and festive occasion. Emceed by Carl Ashour, speakers included David Strickland and Warren Hulbert. Entertainment was provided by Burt's Castoffs, also known as the Prime Plus Four Players. The crowd went wild as Harry Gribben moonwalked to Diane Laravere's CD rap, which was part of several skits presented to point out the do's and don'ts when servicing customers. From the skits, Barnetters learned what quality customer service really means. Teller Appreciation Night was originally created to honor some of our frontline achievers on the teller line. Numerous awards were presented during the evening, including Best Balancing Record, Most Transactions Processed, a Silver Star Award for Bravery During a Robbery, and even Branch Bloopers. The evening peaked with the presentation of the Outstanding Teller Award. Our judges had a very difficult decision this year due to the high caliber of our finalists, which included Susan DeWitt from the Barnett Center, Tina Whitmore from Pine Trail, Naomi Oliver from East Del Rey, Bonnie Johnson from Palm Beach Gardens, Marsha Mitchell from Westlake Worth, and Tina Bergeron from the Barnett Center. These finalists were awarded a $50 savings bond. The second runner-up was Regina Cruz from Boynton 30, and the first runner-up was Shirley Bean from Ocean Ridge. Each received a $100 savings bond. This year's Outstanding Teller Award winner was Pat Atkins from our Lake Worth Military Trail office. Lynette Lewandowski had the opportunity to speak with our winner earlier this week. I'm sitting here at the Military Trail Lake Worth office next to the winner of the Outstanding Teller Award for 1988. The theme of this year's award ceremony is You're Worth a Million, and the people at Military Trail wanted it known that Pat Atkins is worth a million to them. Each of our offices was asked to submit the name of a teller who they felt exemplified consistent superior customer service. And out of the nine nominations that were submitted, a panel of distinguished judges chose Pat's as the most outstanding. Pat's winnings consist of a cash award, a cruise for two, a day off, and a plaque of recognition that she proudly displays at her teller station. So, Pat, how does it feel to be the role model for close to 300 tellers in Palm Beach County? I'm really proud and honored, Lynette. There is really a lot of great tellers at Barnett. And what is it that you do that makes your service so superior? I try to think my, of myself as being fast and accurate. If the customer has a need, I try to do it for them or I get them in the right direction. And do you have any advice for aspiring tellers for next year's nominations? There's a lot of times you don't feel like smiling, but smile. Try to call your customers by name. They like that, they like that special recognition. Plus, treat the customer like you'd want to be treated yourself. Okay, and most importantly, have you decided who you'll be taking on the cruise with you? Cindy, my head teller, would love to go. Mm -hmm. My co-workers would love to go. But I'm thinking pretty sure I'm going to take my husband. I think that sounds like <laughs> a good idea. Well, Pat, uh, I hope you and your husband have a great time. And again, our most sincere congratulations. Thank you, Lynette. Military Trail is becoming notorious for producing outstanding tellers. Ginny Thies, who is our last year's winner, is also a teller at this office, and they say they're shooting for three in a row. If I worked at one of the other offices, I would take that as a challenge. Karen, I was fortunate to be able to attend the Teller Appreciation Night this year and have to tell everyone that Cindy Burgault and Anissa Merced did a fantastic job not only in organizing the evening, but putting up fantastic decorations. I think everyone had a great time and it made a great impression on all of us. I know everyone had fun. We'd like to thank Susan, Miriam, and the entire Pinewood staff for their hospitality and wish them well in their endeavors. This is your news video. We want to hear your ideas and items that you would like to see in upcoming newsreel videos. 
And finally, customer service doesn't always come straight out of the manuals. Often we have to do whatever it takes to help the customer. Our Riviera Beach office recently proved this point by allowing a customer to use the drive-in facility for a rather unusual purpose. We'd like to leave you with the Riviera Beach office's concept of quality customer service for the ideal customer. Seems like everyone wants to get into the act. Don't worry, Bert. We'll call you. See you next time. Thank you.